find the third Taylor polynomial centered at x equals 1 for the function f of x equal to 1 over x plus 1, and use that polynomial to approximate f of 1.1. So our recipe is going to be third Taylor polynomial. We're just going to have a polynomial loaded up with a bunch of a's. And then against those a's are going to be powers of x minus 1. Since I only want the third Taylor polynomial, our highest exponent is going to be a 3. Then the recipe for getting your a's, a sub k is the kth derivative of f, evaluate at 1, and then we divide by k factorial. So let's push this through. For a0, I just evaluate f at 1, put a 1 in there, and that's going to give me a half. For a1, we're going to take the first derivative, evaluate at 1, and then divide by 1 factorial, which is just 1. So our first derivative is going to be, this is x plus 1 to the minus 1. The minus 1 comes down, exponent becomes a minus 2, derivative of the inside is 1. So that gives me minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. We put a 1 in, our f prime at 1 is minus quarter, so a1 is equal to minus quarter. For my second derivative, we're going to take derivative of minus x plus 1 to the minus 2. The minus 2 comes down, hits that minus 1 to become a 2. Exponent becomes a minus 3. Derivative of the inside is 1. We put 1 into there. That gives me 2 over 8. And that's going to become a 1 fourth. Then our recipe for a2 says divide by 2 factorial, which is 2. So I get 1 eighth for our a2. For a3, I need the third derivative evaluated at 1. And then I'm going to divide by 3 factorial, which is 6. We're going to take the derivative of 2x plus 1 to the minus 3. The minus 3 comes down to give me a minus 6. The minus 3 becomes a minus 4. Derivative of the inside is 1. So I get minus 6 over x plus 1 to the fourth. Put a 1 in there. That gives me minus 6 over 16. And then to get our a3, we divide by 6. So I'm just going to have minus 1 16th. We put all this together. That's going to give me the polynomial that I have here. Now, we want to use this to do some approximations. So let's get the actual value out, and then we'll just take it one step at a time. So f of 1.1 is going to be 1 over 2.1, which is 0.47619.04. If I take p1 of 1.1, p1 is just going to be the first two terms, and then forget about the rest. So that's just going to be the tangent line at 1, evaluate at 1.1. So that's going to give me 0.475. And then we see we're accurate. Well, we're getting an error showing up in the thousandth place. If I add on one more term, so that's going to be the second Taylor polynomial, evaluate at 1.1. That gives me 0.47625. And we notice our error is showing up in the fifth decimal place. And then when we go all the way out to our third Taylor polynomial at 1.1, we have 0.47618.75. And note, we're accurate out to six places. We're not getting an error until the sixth decimal place. So you can see, as I keep adding terms on here, we're getting closer and closer to our actual answer.